All right. I am here with Ryan Odom, new men's basketball head coach at VCU. You know, I appreciate the time. I know it's a, it's a very busy time, uh, whether you're coming into a new job or not with the portal and recruiting. Have you had an opportunity kind of to catch your breath yet? Uh, but what's this last, you know, week mm -hmm. for you? Yeah, it's been a fun, you know, couple of weeks here. Uh, obviously, we're we're really excited to be. Our family is really excited to be back in Virginia, and uh, you know, specifically here at VCU, and and what an opportunity it is, you know, for for us, our staff, uh, current players, future players, you know, guys that that will be, you know, wearing the Rams jersey next season. Uh, you know, just really excited, you know. Uh, an amazing place. You know, that's one of the first things you notice when you come here is you know, the investment, you know, that has been made, you know, in our basketball program. And, you know, we talk about all the former coaches, and coaching greats and players that have worn the uniform over the over the years. You know, it's just really special for us to be a part of it. Definitely. And, you know, how much you know, you look at VCU and they, since joining the Atlantic 10, they have been the gold standard. Uh, I think their winning percentage is close to I think 80% in terms of conference play, you know, how much their excellence and kind of the brand, the VCU brand, I like to call it because it is a national brand kind of played a part into you seeing this as a great fit for you. Obviously a coach that, you know, you've been successful, you would have a lot of opportunities, but why VCU uh, for you and your next chapter? Yeah, the tradition of excellence that's existed here, you know, and, you know, obviously, you know, you you think first about, you know, the final four uh, Shaka Smarts teams over that over the course of the time that he was here. And then obviously it continues with Will Wade and then continues with with Mike Rhodes. And, and obviously they're all kind of under that that Shaka tree there and, and did it, you know, differently, you know, in their own way to put their own stamp on it. And uh, and then you talk about the individual players, right, that have played here over the course of their careers and, and meant so much to this program and built this place that I'm fortunate enough to sit in right now. Um, you know, it's just come so far. Um, and, you know, I view this as a responsibility. Uh, it was an easy decision, you know, for, for me. Um, you know, I've spent the greater part of my childhood, my college days, uh, my professional days kind of surrounding Richmond, you know, in a lot of ways, never actually lived in Richmond. Um, but every everywhere I've worked, you know, it's kind of surrounded here and, and played as well at Hampton, Sydney, 50 miles from here. So, you know, dad was an assistant coach at Virginia uh, when I was in from third grade to ninth grade. And so while it's not my specific home, you know, it is home, you know, in a lot of ways. And the connections that we've made over the course of you know, our life, um, you know, is, it's, it's neat to be able to tap back into that and, and be close by. Absolutely. And, you know, you mentioned different stamps that have been put on the program from previous coaches for you, you know, you obviously you're in the thick of things right now uh, with what's going on with the portal and recruiting. Yeah. You know, what are you and your staff kind of looking for? What is a, a Ryan Odom team at VCU look like in terms of the style that you want to, you know, you want to have, uh, you know, for VCU? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, we want to be a championship program and continue to be, you know, a championship program. I mean, last year's team cut down nets uh, together and, you know, achieved, you know, some great things, obviously making the NCAA tournament. Uh, it's not easy to do. And, uh, you know, the, the special season, um, you know, when you're able to do something like that. And so, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to advance in the NCAA tournament. We want to get back to a Final Four. We want to compete for a national championship. I mean, I think this past year you saw three first-time teams in the Final Four. And so anything's possible right now in college basketball. And when you have the investment that we have here, um, you know, at VCU, um, you know, it gives you, gives you a fighting chance. Um, you know, and, and from a stylistic, you know, uh, style of play perspective. Uh, we want to be as balanced as we can possibly be on both sides of the ball. Uh, we want to be a really efficient offensive team, uh, a team that puts pressure on the defense quickly in transition. Uh, certainly our teams have shot the three ball pretty well, you know, in, in most years. And it's been a focus of ours. We're not just jacking threes. We're trying to search for the right ones. And then defensively, you know, at VCU, you could play a little bit differently, you know, than maybe some other other places that I've coached. And, 
you know, it's, it's a, you know, that, that part's going to be fun for me, you know, as well, uh, you know, being able to attack a little bit more on defense. Um, but, you know, at, at Utah state, our defense was pretty good. I think we were top 60 in the country um, as well, different way of doing it. Um, and so, but, but we aspire to be a balanced team on both sides of the ball, because those are the teams that are able to advance, you know, in postseason play. Absolutely. And, there's just a couple more. Just, you know, your time at Utah State, uh, you know, you've been a, you've been an East Coast guy, obviously a very successful coach at UMBC in the America East, uh, you know, from the East Coast. How much how much did Utah State in a way in terms of even if you look at recruiting now, just kind of having that opportunity out west? Um, does that yeah. help, does that help you at all in terms of kind of some of the things that you've uh, the foundation you laid down at Utah State, but also to kind of bring some of that to VCU? Uh, but what, you know, for recruiting and your staff, what, what does that look like, uh, you know, for you moving yeah, forward? Yeah, I think, I think certainly it, it's helped all of us um, that were at Utah State because we walked into a situation, you know, very similar to, to VCU and that there's a tradition of excellence, you know, that has existed. And again, it's a responsibility, whoever the head coach is and the staff that, you know, is in charge of the program, uh, you know, it's truly a responsibility to honor those that came before you and to plant seeds for those that are going to come after you. And, you know, we want to try to create our own legacy here. You know, at VCU, we, we were doing that in a, in a really big way. Last year's team at Utah State, you know, was was incredible to coach. You know, the relationships that we have and forge there with our players will last a lifetime. Uh, the fans there, are much like VCU's fans, are, are, you know, excited about the team, uh, supportive of the team showed up for the team and were invested in, in the games. And, and as a coach, you know, you really want that as a player, you want that you want to play in those types of environments. And so we felt the pressure that's there before. And, uh, and certainly, you know, you know, this situation will not be much different in terms of that. Um, you know, but I do think, you know, this is, you know, a tremendous opportunity for us to really continue to try to forge new relationships, deep, uh, you know, dive back into some some old ones that we had, you know, here as well. You know, we recruited up in D.C., Baltimore. We recruited in Virginia. We recruited in North Carolina. Uh, certainly surrounding VCU, we're, we're right in a perfect spot, you know, a hotbed for players and uh, great coaches, you know, throughout, you know, um, as well that, that we can forge, continue to develop and forge relationships with while still using our contacts, you know, both here domestically and then also internationally, um, you know, to find the right players, you know, uh, for VCU. Definitely. And, you know, last question, you know, this year, you know, obviously a lot of your six, not a lot of your success, but, you know, foundationally you look at what you did at UMBC and obviously a highlight of that was, you know, knocking out Virginia the first time a 16 seed, you know, beating a one yeah. seed. Were you a little bit disappointed? Was there any disappointment this year to see, someone join uh, the family that you were in? No, not at all, actually. I mean, because we, you know, we were fortunate enough to experience that joy, right? And so to see somebody else experience that same joy was really fun for us to sit there and watch it and uh, watch it unfold. I mean, you always feel sorry for, not sorry, but you feel badly for the, the one seed because it's like, that's a big deal. Yeah. And, uh, and, and certainly, you know, Virginia obviously came back from that in a huge way, which was really cool for us to see them, you yeah. know, win the national championship the next year. And hopefully Purdue is able to recover, and I'm confident they will. They have a dynamite coach. and uh, But, you know, for those kids, for Coach Anderson and his staff to, you know, experience that joy, I mean, there's nothing like it and uh, except for winning a national championship. You know, if you win a national championship, that's pretty cool. Make a Final Four. You know, like you're you're experiencing something real special. And uh, obviously San Diego State, who was in our conference, you know, had a chance to win a national championship this past you know, this past season. And, and that was fun for us to watch. You know, somebody that we've competed, you know, intently with, you know, to see them in that moment make a final four and, and have a chance to cut down nets was pretty cool. No, definitely. So we aspire to do that ourselves. No, definitely. And I think, you know, even how rare it is, I don't think it's, I think you see, especially with the transfer portal, one of the good things I, I do think you see is 
players, there's a lot of great players across the nation. And oh yeah, level doesn't really matter necessarily to the conference. Uh, you see these guys making jumps and instantly making impacts at uh, programs across the country. But um, Yeah, and the A-10 is a great conference, you know, traditionally. I mean, there's been tons of great coaches you know, to come through the A-10. Obviously, it's right now it's stacked with really great coaches throughout – uh, great players that have gone on to play in the NBA and have great careers. We certainly have several from VCU right now and others from other programs that have gone on to do that. And, you know, things are cyclical, you know, in terms of, you know, how many teams get in the NCAA tournament from a given league. And I don't think there's any doubt, you know, that the A-10 is headed up. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Well, listen, Coach, thank you for the time. I know you're busy. Uh, we'll definitely be in touch maybe as the season you know, get started, but good luck with everything uh, and welcome to the A-10. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me.